Hey everybody, it's John here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can create sheets based on a list in Excel. So I've got a list here of all 50 states. And what I want to do is create a sheet for each of these states and have the sheet name be the state. So there's no command for this in the Excel ribbon. So what you would have to do is create a sheet and come back to your list and copy and paste and then rename the sheet. And if you have a long list, that's going to be very time consuming. So we don't want to be doing that. So instead, what we're going to do is use a pivot table trick to do this for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a pivot table from this list. So if I have my active cell in this list somewhere and go up to the insert tab and select the pivot table command, then Excel is going to select the range for me and I just need to make sure that that is the entire range or list and I'm going to put this in the same worksheet here so and if I press OK that's going to create a new pivot table for me and with my active cell cursor inside this pivot table I get two new tabs in the ribbon so I get the pivot table tools design tab and the analyze tab and if I select the Analyze tab and go over here to Options, and if I click on this little small triangle next to Options, I get this menu here. And one of the options is to Show Report Filter Pages. Now what that does is that will allow me to create a new pivot table for each item in a field in the filter area. So if I head over to my Pivot Table Fields list, and drag my only fields into the filters area. I get this pivot table that just has a filter on it. And the items in the filter are each of the US states. And if I go back into my Analyze tab and click on this, that option is now uh, available to use. So it's not grayed out anymore because I have an item in my filters area. And if I click on that, I get this menu here. So if I had multiple fields in my filters area, I would be able to select one of those, but I've only got the one US state names. So I'm going to click OK there. And you can see that what that's done is created a new sheet. So one for each item in the filter field. So you can see I've got Alabama as a sheet here. And up here, my pivot table is filtered on Alabama. And if I go to the next sheet, Alaska, the pivot table is filtered on Alaska. So this has created a sheet for each of those items in my list, but it also has a pivot table in each of those sheets now. So if you don't want the pivot table, what you can do is delete the pivot table in each of the sheets. And a quick way to do that is to just select the first sheet. And if I hold control and click on this small arrow here, that's going to take my sheet view to the last sheet. And now if I hold shift and click on the last sheet or last state sheet, that's going to select all those. And now any edits I make on this sheet here are going to happen in all those selected sheets. So I'm just going to select my two columns that my pivot table's in. And if I right click, I can't delete those columns, but I can clear the contents. So I'm going to clear contents. And that's actually going to clear the contents in all those selected sheets. So now if I look at Wyoming and Wisconsin, and West Virginia. And in fact, all the sheets, I've essentially deleted the pivot table from all those sheets. Now, if I select my only unselected sheet, then that's going to deselect all my selected sheets. And then I can just delete the pivot table I used to create those sheets. So that's an easy way to create sheets in Excel based on a list. We can use a pivot table and use the show report filter pages command to create the sheets for us. 
and then we can delete any pivot tables in those sheets by grouping them together and making the edit on one of the sheets. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Excel videos. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.